All right, I think we're ready to get started. Everybody set? Looks like we got a quorum. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and start the meeting off. And the first item, as always, will be, are there any changes to the agenda? Is everybody happy with the order that we have things in? Not hearing anything. With that, we'll go ahead and move forward. All right. Do we have anybody uh, online waiting on call to the public? To the public, you can press uh, star nine to un unmute yourself. Star six, I'm sorry, star six. I'm not hearing anybody. Oh, do we have someone? Yeah, okay. All right, with that, we'll move forward because I don't have anybody in here, so no call to the public. Uh, that takes us to the minutes for March. Uh, did everybody have a chance to read the minutes for March? If not, go ahead and take a quick look now. Make sure you're comfortable with what's in the minutes. And as soon as anybody is comfortable with them, if I could just get a motion to approve the minutes. Do we have a motion? I saw two, but I wasn't there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Motion to approve the minutes. All right, so I have a motion. <laughs> Do I have a second? Second. All right. All in favor say aye, please. Aye. Does aye. anybody oppose? All right, the minutes are approved. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't want to hear from you, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got one over there. Let's slide one over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then normally we start the meetings off by reading the board duties, but Kevin wasn't here and I sort of jumped past that, so I'm going to go ahead and just read the duties. And just for anybody that's listening and anybody that's new, the, the board duties, the Open Space Advisory Board, shall act as an advisory board and provide recommendations to the City Council in efforts to preserve and acquire open space as identified in the Towards a Brighter Future. A green infrastructure plan for El Paso, Texas, commonly referred to as the Open Space Master Plan. The Open Space Advisory Board shall provide recommendations on the implementation of the Open Space Master Plan. And so that's kind of our overall mission there. So with that, let's go ahead and go to our next agenda item. Right, so we did minutes. Update on Kasner Range as a national monument. Is that something the city was going to provide? Or Raul Garcia planning inspections covering for Mr. Kevin Smith. To my my uh, information that I received, uh, this was solely a open space board item. All right. Yes, well, sir. I'll go ahead and provide an update then. I did go to the dedication uh, presentation that they had over at Andrus High School. Uh, I think the important thing for all people who love Kasner Range is now that it is a national monument, it does not mean it is open to the public. What it means is that it cannot be uh, built upon. So we have preserved it. In other words, they will not be putting any new structures on there or anything like that. 
but they have not remediated yet the demolitions that are on the land. And so the Army is very clear with everybody that nobody is to go onto Kasner Range. It is a national monument, but it is still a public off space until such time as they say, yes, we have remediated it and it is ready to be used for public recreation. That's going to take years, <laughs> okay? No, nobody should have expectations that we're gonna be there anytime soon. It could be five years, it could be 10 years. Remediation takes a while, they are working towards it. So they said that they would you know, do the best they can, but it is a long process. The other thing they did say is that when the first trail is built on Kasner Range, it will be called the Judy Ackerman Trail. And so they, they did announce that, and so everybody was quite pleased with that. And I think those were the highlights from the, uh, the meeting that they had. Uh, congratulations to everybody that made that happen, because that has been a long fight for all of us who love open space. Did they talk about um, administration? Is it still being administered by the Army, or is it? It will be. It is still military property, right. uh, but it is unique in that it'll be a national monument run by the military. That may change, but for now, it is the military, especially since it's not, until it is remediated, I think the military is gonna maintain tight control on it. Okay. So that is the plan for now. Any other questions or comments on that? Is there gonna be any, any additional signage on it? Uh, they to... did come up, uh, one of the big uh, presentations they had. Uh, you know when you go down rows, they have those big brown signs saying entering, you know, Lincoln National, it is gonna say entering the Kasner Range National Monument as you start doing. So they'll be putting up those signs here pretty soon. There are some already there. Yeah. There are some already up, so mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So we will have signage out there. Uh, uh, it's still going to have the signs also that say keep off, <laughs> but <laughs> but the signage and, uh, announcing that it is the Kasner Range National Monument are going up. Any other questions, comments? Uh, not on that, but I noticed there's uh, something in the chat on the teams. I'm not sure if there's like a question there or... Uh, what do we got going on in the chat? I don't see the chat up there, so I can't quite make out what they're talking about. <laughs> Correct. Um, I don't see no questions in the chat. If there's a red thingy on top. Yeah. That yeah. Is we need to open that up and see what they're asking if somebody's trying to comment. Oh, there's a red dot, right? Yeah. So that might be related to an audio glitch that is being worked on and uh, may have already been addressed. Okay. My is coming. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Does someone online or? I mean, online? if you click on it, you can see the the chat, so we can expand it. Okay. Meredith, can you please say something? It is Meredith that we're talking. I can't quite. Even, I can't even read the name. Uh, Marilyn. It's Marilyn Guido. Know, so, but she's on. Maybe she was on. I don't know. It's interesting. She just got admitted. Marilyn Guido just right slipped. Okay. Okay. She's her uh, mic's off. Everybody's <laughs> mic's off. Okay. It's unmuted? Yeah. They should be able to unmute themselves. Ask them to unmute themselves. It's at the star six? Well, if they're on Teams. If they're on Teams, you have to hit the, yeah, yeah, unmute on Teams. So Marilyn, can you try that for us, please? Hello, this is Marilyn. Hey, Excellent. yes. Yay. We hear you. <laughs> Thank you for the welcome. <laughs> so did you want to mention something about Kasner Range? Oh, I, I'm sorry, I got on late, so I didn't hear what you were talking about, but yay for Kasner Range National Monument. Huh? Yes. <laughs> and yeah. thank you to Judy Ackerman and Janae um, yes. Reno Field and Richard Teschner and all the people who helped uh, make that happen. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Okay, so I think that's our update then, unless there are any other comments. I am not seeing any. Okay. So then that takes us to item five, the uh -huh. strategy and goal session for the Open Space Advisory Board. I did send Kevin a PDF with some uh, items that I wanted 
you know, struck out, did, did that get to the board? No, I didn't get anything. Okay, um, can we get that on the screens, that the PDF I sent him? So I, I can follow up with that, sir. Um, what I, as per my discussions with Kevin, um, he did want me to share with the board that uh, there was an ongoing effort to analyze the current efforts done by the department in, in regards to the OSAP's uh, um, purpose mm -hmm. when it comes to implementing the open space master plan as well as uh, land acquisition for open space. So those are ongoing efforts that, that we are doing. And once we have that information, we will come back to, to the board uh, to present that information. Russell Abel, an assistant city attorney. So I think I can provide some more information. So Kevin and I um, met with uh, Julie Baldwin of the performance office. And so before we start looking at any changes, they're gonna come in and help us do a strategic planning session. And um, part of that is what they're gonna look at, um, all the items on the agenda that have been posted in the past, find out what user departments, where they're coming from, um, kind of coordinate all of that, and then develop a um, kind of a calendar for the, uh, the year and the items you wanna see um, and uh, the departments you wanna hear from. And so um, kind of direct it into a year long plan, if that makes sense. Okay, so sure. the only issue I would have with that is I still hear that the city will be providing to mm -hmm. us sort of the items. And the, the one thing I think the board truly wants is to be able to speak on any open space item, even if it comes just from the board and not directed from the city to the board. Sure, and I, I think you all can speak on um, any item you want. I don't think, you know, um, uh, historically we've ever prevented an item from be, being posted. Um, there's always an item at the, uh, at the end, items for future agenda that we allow posting. Um, the, the difficult thing is, um, uh, well, that the board can't direct staff, so you all can post any item you want, but um, for staff to come back and, and bring an item, that's, that's generally not possible unless it's a directive from council. Um, okay. wait, sorry, just to get that right, you said that staff like let's say kevin for instance has something that he wants to speak about he's not allowed to bring that without asking us or the chair is that what you're saying no that's not true no no um kevin can bring it um generally what they're generally how staff is bringing the items is they're following the plan that has been in place for this board for a very long time um which is um, the items that are coming, you know, from CID, from water, the updates today. And so um, they're, they're kind of following that, um, that plan and that strategy that's been done in the past. And so um, what we want to do is go bring in the performance office to help us develop a new plan so that there can be a schedule and staff can bring the items um, that you all will most want to see. So Dr. Bono, you were going to say something? Yeah, um, I was talking with, and I don't recall your name, sir. Uh, stand in for Kevin, please. Raul Garcia. Thank you, Raul. Um, I did a little bit of research on SWAT, meaning the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And I would be very pleased to share this with you. Um, I think that this would be helpful in focusing on what needs to be done. And I really do like the idea of having the support that staff is willing to provide. Uh, as we all know, staff is to be supportive of the um, boards, boards, committees, and commissions. We cannot, we cannot tell them to do anything, but we can ask for their help. Am I correct? We can ask for help. Now, but anything outside of that is, is it, staff is here to support boards, commissions, and committees. We don't ask them to do anything. What you have offered to do is fabulous because that's a lot of work. Looking at all the things that have gone through this board in 
what, seven years, 10 years? It, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal to do all of that. Um, and I think that we need to kind of be very grateful, one thing. And the other thing is that we need to look at the strengths of, of the board as far as our, our duties are concerned, the weaknesses of what we are and what have come about and what is possible in the future, what opportunities are there, and this is, and then the threats. And this is all going to be very colored by what staff is willing to support us with. And I'm, I'm just really thrilled. Uh, this, is, this is great, but we've got, my thing is we've got to look at a format in which to do this. And I think that SWAT is a great way of doing it. And that would be up to the board on, on doing it. And I think to allude to something that, that uh, Stephen brought up is that historically, the board has been censured by staff. And that has been corrected and it no longer is to happen and it no longer happens uh, since uh, I've been on, it, on the board this time, things have run so beautifully. And I do thank staff for their commitment to the board because you've provided a lot of stuff that we weren't able to get. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not sure we can go much farther. So is there a problem sending out the document I gave to Kevin to the rest of the board? Uh, I don't think there's a there's a problem sending it out now. Okay. Um, we can we can probably do that. Okay. Yeah, it, and I, I just did a quick red line on our enabling ordinance, and basically all I was looking to is to say, you know what, because we have not been kept from doing some things, but I know the enabling ordinance, the way that it's written, it tends to say that we will address things presented to us by staff or by city. And we'd like to say, well, I'd just like to see that thing struck so that we could say, you know what, it's not in writing that we're limited that way. So if we could get that out, I would appreciate it. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do on this item. They're gonna get with us next month or do we know when? I believe it will be next month um, when the performance office will come and we can start that um, strategic planning. Um, and then they can assist us with coming up with a plan and, and looking at all, as I said, doing an analysis of all the items. And then, and then I think once we have that plan in place, it'll be a lot easier um, to get the presentations and the information that you all want because it'll be on you know, an official plan. In, uh, I hear performance office, but I'm not quite sure I understand what that means in terms of a department structure. Could you give us a little so the feedback on that? The performance office, um, they assist, they, um, they go into departments and boards and different things, and they, they do a lot of process improvement. Um, I think they've met with some other boards um, who, who you know were feeling like they were kind of getting stuck in a rut, and they've really felt like the boards have felt like they've helped them improve and, and get the items that they want and get things moving. Um, so yeah, the, the city has this performance office and they'll go into different departments um, where, where issues are arising and try to figure out way to, ways to um, streamline things. I think they use techniques like SWAT um, and Lean Six Sigma mm -hmm. um, and different process improvements. Okay, yeah. Always love that for the process improvements group. So it's the pigs. <laughs> we had that where I used to work too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I used to be one of those guys, so. <laughs> All right, so with that, um, I think let's put off doing much more on our uh, restructuring until we get some feedback from them on some things we can do. Is everybody good with that? I'm not seeing anybody say no, so that's what we'll go ahead and go with on that. Go forward. All right, so that takes us past item five and moves us to item six, the quarterly report.
Good afternoon all, Alex Alejandre with Planning and Inspections. Item number six on the agenda is the subdivision quarterly report. Hold on a couple, yeah, there it is. Here you can see we had one subdivision application in the hillside area that was approved by the City Plan Commission. Total acres for this quarter is 20.19 compared to the 2.3 from the previous quarter. Uh, Cimarron Canyon Unit 8 was approved as a major uh, combination application. The applicant is proposing to create 54 residential lots, one commercial lot, and one drainage pond. Primary access to the subdivision will be from Cimarron Canyon Drive. Here you can see where the development falls within the flood zone map. And here's your approved plat, approved by City Plan Commission on February 23rd, 2023. And this concludes my presentation. Okay, if that's sitting right up against, is that Wrestler Road? Wrestler Road. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And I'm not sure there's much we can do about that. I'm gonna go ahead, Dr. Bonar. Yes, uh, can we get a copy of that uh, presentation, please? Definitely. Any comments on the plot? No. Nope. Okay, I think that takes care of that then. Thank you. Thank you. And that finishes off the agenda, I think. Oh, there we go, seven. Uh, future items. Uh, so a couple of things. Uh, not so much as board items, but the City Nature Challenge is coming up, and I should know the date on this. <laughs> uh, I want to say it's the last weekend in April, but this is the time when everybody, uh, all the cities compete. Do you have it? April 28th through May 1. April 28th through May 1. And so the City Nature Challenge is just one of those things where uh, cities compete against each other, and they ask their citizens to go out and use an app, an app called iNaturalist. Mm -hmm. And you just identify or you take photos of different things you see in nature in the city that has the most items that have been presented wins the city nature challenge. Uh, we seem to get beat a lot by Houston, and so I think we can do better than Houston, even though they may have a few more folks than us. But if you, uh, you know, download the iNature uh, app, it's a pretty cool thing. If you ever, you know, were out in the desert and you saw this lizard and said, I wonder what that is. You take a picture of it and it comes back and it tells you, oh, that's a whip tail lizard or that's a, a horn lizard, but it gives you that. It does the same things for plants. So just a cool little thing if you're one of those guys that likes to hike or bike in the, the, the nature and you know, ever wonder what those things are around you. So that's coming up. Uh, other items coming up. Joe, excuse yes. me, uh, Chair. Uh, where do we, what's the contact on this? Because if once you take the picture, what do you do with it? Actually, if you just do it through the app. So if you do, if you download the iNaturalist app. Right, I have And you that. do uh, recordings during that time period, it's counted by them. But the state park is uh, always very involved in this. And so they'll usually do a little uh, table presentation during that time frame, uh, just showing people how to use it. So if you just use the iNaturalist app mm -hmm. during that period, that takes care of it. But if you want some more background, go up to the state park during that period. Uh, Lydia loves to show people how to do that stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't know if I have any other items and just general stuff that's going on. So next month, what do we want on the agenda? Report? We had a few pending items that we'd requested in previous months. And okay. I don't know. If, I don't recall exactly what they all were. I wish we had a list of them. Um, but we always ask about the Northeast land, and we haven't mm -hmm. seen an update on the Northeast property in a while. So can we get that on the agenda for next month? You know, I know there's lots of talks between Frontera, the state park, and the city, and PSB. Can we get an update on where that stands? Yes, sir. I can definitely work with uh, my, our staff and Kevin Smith to get that information as part of a, an item. Okay. For the next meeting. Specifically, I think one thing I had requested was a uh, conversation with stakeholders uh, for the land. Um, yes. Current, current maintenance lease holders and yeah. things like that. So two very specific items. Yeah. 
We want to know how this impacts the Borderland Mountains Bikes Association maintenance agreement at the Roundhouse. And we would also like to know the status of the Roundhouse. There's, yes. There seems to have been some confusion about whether it still belongs to the Bowens or no, it's BSB. And so if you could just get some clarification on that, whether, yeah, the Roundhouse is part of the sale and it stays there and it would go to the state park if it goes that way, or somehow it's going to be excluded if we could get some clarification on that. Yes, sir, definitely. I have Ms. Ms. Rodriguez here taking notes, so definitely we can work to get those items off for right. the next meeting, sir. We were also talking about uh, El Paso Water's uh, maintenance of open space uh, properties. I don't think we had that discussion yet. I don't know if that was uh, if they were discussed at some of the Well, they, we had talked about improving the Roundhouse Road. They, they, were, they were asking us about improving the Roundhouse Road, uh, other um, improvements like in the Lost Dog area, um, things like that. Um, trailhead signage, wayfinding signage, um, all of the, the things that, that they had talked about um, helping with, um, we don't know the status of that. Um, I think we were, gonna, we were requesting to have somebody from El Paso Water present um, to discuss that with them. I don't, I don't recall anything else specifically or the specifics of that one other than what I've said. Okay. So. Yes, sir, and we can definitely reach out to PSB um, and request they have somebody present. Okay. Yeah, I knew because we know they have set something up with Frontera, and we truly appreciate what they've done for the open space advisory or the open space management position. But we're wondering, uh, just in general, if they have something in in the works to fund things to keep open space uh, maintained, for lack of a better word. But trailhead signs, like Mark's talking, that kind of thing. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I thought I heard something over here, but I was looking the other way. Dr. Yeah. Bonart? Uh, two things. One is the report from staff about, about the, the work going on uh, having to do with the strategy and goal session that uh, Mr. Amblin brought up that we worked on. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I, it's just it's an amazement to me that you all are going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is an uh, update on Mountain to River. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's been on the book since before. Yeah, so um, we do want an, uh, an update that very specifically covers Mountain to River, but also just if you could tell us in general the status of all the other trailheads or trails going on. I know we had right. the, we, some, some stuff had been put out there. I know we put together a recommendation God, three meetings ago, asking that something go before city council to rename or to put a trailhead at the new Napland, mm -hmm. uh, named after Judy Ackerman, and we haven't heard anything back on that. So if we could get something, some status of whether that was sent to city council or what happened to that. Definitely, we can get you the status on that, sir. Okay. Also, I uh, believe that the board had made a motion to pass a recommendation to city council uh, some time ago, and we haven't heard back on that to my knowledge. And that had to do with um, service uh, utility areas and the mountain to river. It was an interlock of situations. Okay. What, so what's the upshot on that? I'm not sure I'm following what you're telling me there. So it tell was, me again. It was something having to do, we uh, had a presentation on, which I made, uh, on utility, uh, you, what is it? It has to do with the Blue Bonnet Trail, and it has to do with service utility, um, making it more open space-ish. And then because after the, the, the board made a recommendation to city council that nothing be done any further thing be done in on those areas until um, mountain to river had been okay so yeah we finished were we or wanted, something. they wanted to prioritize mountain yes, to river it was a problem, and not put it was, money into other trails right prior to mountain to river okay. right yeah. right and so yeah and it had to do That's with it. the service utility areas so in general if we could go back and look at those items that we you know, that we passed and said we'd like to have a recommendation this way or that, and just come back and give us a status on some of those things. Because I know we've put about two or three things out mm -hmm. there, and we haven't heard anything back one way or the other. 
And I mean, if, and if, it's, if it's not gonna happen, at least come back and tell us if it's not gonna happen, be, and Lita, instead of us sort of wondering, you know, did it just fall into a, a dark pit and nobody knows what happened to it? <laughs> yes, sir, definitely. Um Anything having to do with Mount Monte River Trail? Uh, yeah, and there's two recommendations that we very specifically put forward. You know, what's the status of those recommendations? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, anything else? I was going to say, like, it, I think it helps if, if you can name the specific ones that were. So we said Mount River, we said the two from there, we said um, Trailhead and Napland for yeah. G. Ackerman. And yeah. then, are there any others? I can't think of any, but I'm looking to the rest of my board here. If you can come up with any of those things that we put a recommendation out there and we haven't got a, a feedback on where it stands. Those are the ones I remember. We may need to, yeah, I'm on. Uh, we may need to have a closed session on uh, some of this, but specifically uh, Mountain to River and um, maybe any other acquisitions. Okay. I leave that to Mr. Amblin. So let's get those things that get updates on those. Um, are there any other items that we need for May? Uh, I'm not seeing anybody give me anything. Yet. Okay, so we're comfortable. Hold on. Uh, what about uh, any discussion on acquisitions? Uh, there was some discussion we had in uh, closed session. We had some discussion about acquisitions. Okay. Are we having any follow up on that? So we want to go. Do we want? And this, I'm going to be. Uh, do we want to go for May or June on that one? I, I think we should get an update on that. Yeah. Uh, but if we're going to go to closed session, it might take a while. And since right. we're going to have the other stuff, so want, do we? Should it's we go up for to June? the board. It's up to the board. And I understand. I remember, Bonnie, you were going to get some pictures. Yeah, um, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is, is we need to take into consideration a definition of open space. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, um, not for May, but for June, can we get a status then on the acquisition list and where things stand? Yes, sir. So, and that one, so everybody can plan that in June we should be here on site so we can have a closed session and they can go over that stuff with us. All right. Yeah, get them to Kevin, and Kevin can distribute them from there. If you want aerial pictures, I can help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Are there any other items that we'd like to discuss for next month? I'm not seeing anything, and that concludes our agenda. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for another motion to adjourn if you guys are... Before we adjourn, yeah. Mr. Garcia, is it? I'm sorry. Uh, can you just tell us the next date of the next meeting? Is it that May 10th or May 3rd? Uh, I have it on my calendar. Oh, yeah, well, this, I went there. The 2022 schedule is, is the one that's still posted online, unfortunately. Maybe if if I can ask one more request from, from staff, if they could post the updated 2023 yes yes sir yes sir it was brought to our attention that uh, the old schedule is on online so okay. uh, we will make sure and ensure that the updated 2023 schedule is there thank you yes sir. i'm showing it as the 10th okay yeah because i do think we got a hard copy of the calendar and so i think i put it in my and if i put it in correctly then our next meeting is may 10th but i am not going to uh, <laughs> swear on that one so okay So, any other questions, comments, or would someone want to make a motion to adjourn? I so move. I'll Do I second. have a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. 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 Is anybody opposed? Thank you all. <laughs> yeah, that 10th is what I got to have too.